My name is Dinah Nichols. I'm a crab double artist who lives in New York and sometimes New Orleans. And here I am. Welcome to one of my workspaces. Researching the sugar industry here has definitely influenced the way I see art and the world here because if you've ever been to Florida, Florida is an estuary and we are living in the space of the birds. And the sugar producers here, Domino in particular, have been poisoning that every year since they began with their um, sugar refining practices. And so though that is horrible, if you come to Florida, one thing that makes it incredibly unique, especially if you're from the middle of the country uh, or from up north where it's cold, is that nature is very loud here. Nature is deafening in its message. And it's, it's like if you can stop for a moment anywhere in the land, you can hear it. it. Like it speaks to you. You can hear the history speaking to you. And the voice is so loud. And I feel like if you are an artist, you can't help but try to interpret that voice and to learn from it. Other regional artists who I follow Recently, I've discovered the Highwaymen, and there's one highway woman, the lone highway woman. If you're not familiar with the Highwaymen, it was this group of artists that sprung up and filled a void of art with all the people who were moving to Florida after the Great Depression. So they were making these paintings that were uh, nature-inspired, and they would typically go in people's homes. And it was a it was a way for artists to make money in a really interesting time in Florida's history, but Marianne Carroll was the lone highway woman. So Marianne Carroll, some of my favorite pieces of hers are these sunrises and sunsets that feel like they're telling a story. Um, they feel kind of preternatural, like they're, it's like you could see this, this intense history of that moment in Florida before everything got so populated in these scenes of the trees and the birds and the swamp, and I just adore her work. One of my new most favorite places in Florida is the Ichnatuckney River, which if you've never been there, uh, we just took a canoe trip up the Ichnatuckney. And when you go up, you're going above these gigantic manatees that are 10, 12 feet long, um, and we got to see these mating garfish that were jumping out of the water. And after a while, you get to the spring head, which is a crystal clear blue cave that goes deep down into the earth and brings forth this drinkable, gorgeous blue water. And all the way down the sides of the cave are these gardens of ferns and greenery, the likes of which you've never seen before, and fish darting between them. It is absolutely magical in every way.